watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we've got a buck nine four review. This one an import. You can see made in China. And got a date code there of September 30th, 2022. We're looking at the Trio, which is a stockman design, three blades. Model number is 373. Uh, I got the long form model number there. And then catalog number 13524. Just a quick look at the box. And... Established 1902, you've got uh, some blurbs and warnings and so forth. Mailing address, website information. You can pause that and read it if you'd like. Pretty typical box. This is what we're looking at, though. We have the 373 Trio. This is a three and a quarter inch length design stockman. We've got three blades on three springs. And the, th the blades are made from 420J2 with that Paul Boss heat treatment. So they are pretty good for uh, 420 blade material. Now you got nickel silver bolsters on either end here and a nickel silver shield with the Buck logo in it, brass pins. And all of this is nice and smooth across, not filling any of the pins. The shield is well inlaid. No stepping on the bolsters on that side. You can see that the burl wood is very attractive. One of the reasons I bought this knife, I didn't have the 373 Trio and I decided that uh, if I was going to get one, I wanted to get one of the Burlwood handles. And so I pulled the trigger on this one on Amazon. They're $25. On the back side, you can see that the color of the wood material matches very well to the front. Again, nice and smooth transitions. Nothing really to speak of uh, as far as anything proud. Very smooth. Feels very good around the edges. If we check the tops of the tangs, and it feels pretty decent across the corners and the elbows of the tangs on this side and this side. The edginess of the bolster top is okay. Nothing major there. So it all feels pretty well finished. Now on the bottom we've got three springs, one for each blade, and we've also got steel liners, which is a little bit different from many manufacturers, but Buck does this. And they use the steel liners. Now the advantage of maybe having three springs is that they would be uh, have a little stronger pull and also uh, give you a little more spacing for uh, the avoidance of any blade rub on a stockman. But that is not the case with this one, unfortunately. If we look at the main blade, you can see that that is a nice clip point blade with a bit of a hollow grind on it. There's the look at the blade edge. Maybe a little heavy, but pretty even overall. Pretty consistent on this side as well. So, again, maybe a little heavy, but it's got a pretty decent tip on it. And nice satin grind on the blade. There you can see the hollowness of it. On that side as well. Look at the nail nick in its position. It is uh, maybe a little further back than some blades, but... With the pull strength only being about a 5, it's not really an issue getting it out of there. Now, I would like to see the pull strength be a little heavier. But you do have a choil on this that's long enough you can grip up on that. And that's not going to go anywhere. So that's pretty, uh, you know, it's one of those, it'll give you a lot more confidence using it in its hand position. So that's not going to be really an issue with the clip point blade. But on the other blades, you see that may be a little bit more of a problem. So if we measure this guy, we've got a blade length of two, let's call it five eighths, just over, just a little over that half inch mark there. So two and five eighths total to the tang, and then you have a cutting edge just ever so slightly over two inches. Now the middle blade is the sheep's foot blade. And the pull on that is pretty weak. Again, about a five, maybe even a little less. Blade grind on that, not so great. Gets a little thinner than the main blade, which is nice, but it's a little uneven. It's starts to get a little heavier towards the tip. And then this one, a little opposite, where it's thinner at the tip and then a little heavier back here at the choil. So... Not the greatest grind on a buck knife I've ever seen. But the main problem with this, besides the weak pull, is that it does seem to catch. Um, won't happen every time, but 
I can do it enough times. It'll you can see it that it will uh, prevent itself from going down in to the cavity. So it does catch slightly on the uh, on the spade blade at the front or at the back here. But as I'm doing it now, it doesn't seem to be happening. So you know maybe when I oh it did do it there just a slight bit. So yeah, it could be a little better. Uh, the snap on that a little weak and doesn't really go all the way down into the channel. Now here with the spade blade, it's kind of an attractive spade blade there, right? More of a, well, not much of a spade blade so much as a pin blade with a little notch out of it, which doesn't bother me too much. Even as this blade's a little heavy at the uh, the tip end, and kind of the same on this, just a little heavier grind. Uh, not, yeah, probably a little heavier on this side. So again, the evenness, not exactly perfect, but you do have a pretty nice little satin grind on there. And there's a good look at the nail neck. No tank stamp on this one. This one, the best of the three as far as its pull. You get about a six on this pull, so it does lock up a little better than the other blades. A little more confidence in use on this one. A little harder to, to push that down than the other two blades. So overall, not too bad on the... Uh, spade blade but overall just a little bit of a disappointment you know $25 knife you're not expecting a ton but uh, it really kind of bugs me that this defect is here and I just feel like I maybe got a little bit of a lemon I think if I were to buy another I'd probably get a little more fortunate with the the gapping now I don't know about the the blade pull strength some of the other bug knives I've had have been kind of weak too I just think that's kind of how they are um, Maybe they put a more uh, of an emphasis on the easy of the uh, easiness of the opening than some of the other uh, companies out there. But uh, yeah, the main blade's not really much of an issue with that choil being as long as it is. But uh, I don't know that that sheep's foot would be pretty tough to use as weak as it is. Uh, that you can see just doesn't doesn't really lock in there the way you'd like. So I'd just say this is an okay knife. Uh, not perfect. Maybe you'll get a better e example than I did. Um, but it's certainly not a, a double thumbs up or anything like that. I do like the handle material quite a bit. And uh, it is an attractive looking knife. I really like the shape of that clip point blade. But just in terms of the overall fit of the knife, the finish is good. The fit, not so much. So we'll just say it's an okay knife. If you're a buck collector, you know, maybe cross your fingers and hope for a better uh, model than the one I got here. But that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We will see you next time. Take care.